Hi everyone, welcome to my Facebook Live this week. My name is Mandy Witherby from Mandy's Papercraft Creations and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Sydney, Australia. It's great to have you all here. Thank you so much for joining me today. Whether or not you are watching live or watching the replay later, thank you so much. All right, so while everyone is jumping on, I'm going to call up this live on my iPad so that I can see all of your comments. As you're jumping on, say hi so that I know that you're here. Okay. Just waiting for that to catch up. There we go. Fantastic. All right. Good, good, good. Okay. So as you're jumping on, say hi. Um, let me know you're here. And I can see all of your comments coming up on my iPad now, which is awesome. So how is everyone today, this week? Um, let me know about your weekend. I always love to have a little chat with you all. Hey Kathleen, great to have you here. Thanks for joining me today. Now if you happen to be watching this back later um, on YouTube, because all of my videos I upload to YouTube, um, thank you so much for coming to my YouTube channel. And um, if you would like to subscribe to my YouTube channel and then click on the um, little bell icon that you'll see down on the right hand corner, um, you'll get notified then of any new videos that I post. So thank you so much for, um, for being here. Hi Roslyn, great to have you along today. Thank you for joining us. Yes, so um, be sure to um, subscribe if you like what you see today. Um, so I've got lots of new things to show you today. So that's pretty exciting. New product is always exciting. Um, so Kathleen said she did lots of crafting and finally getting her scrapbooking done. Yay, that's so exciting. That's awesome. I love to hear that. Um, one of my team members, uh, one of my other team members as well, also um, got back into her scrapbooking on the weekend too. So that's really exciting. It's great to hear that. So um, I used to do. Some of you will know this if you've watched me before. And a couple of weeks ago, I was sharing some. Um, I, I actually uh, started to put together a little album using memories and more cards with um, the Stampin' Up albums. Um, using the um, pocket page system but I used to do traditional scrapbooking um, and I spoke a little bit about that on that video so feel free to go back and watch that video if that is interest um, if you would find that interesting but yeah I used to do a lot of traditional scrapbooking years ago um, and I used to spend a lot of time on my layouts because I put a lot a lot of detail into them um, and then when I went uh, back to work I found that I didn't have as much time to devote to that anymore so then I switched back to card making which is a lot quicker and then um, I discovered the pocket page system um, or memory keeping as they say so um, then I sort of switched to that but I would like to go back and do a few um, traditional full page 12 by 12 scrapbooking pages as well I've sort of been thinking about a, a few different ones and some of the new papers um, that are coming out I, I think oh they'd make beautiful scrapbooking pages and um, Amber and I've been talking about that too so um, yeah so I might um, I might get into that myself but I'm glad to hear that um, some of my team members have been doing that as well hey Fee great to have you here thanks for joining us today hi Amanda hi Julie everyone's jumping on now this is awesome that's great so um, yeah, so let me know about your weekend. Uh, we were just, uh, Kathleen was just sharing that she did some crafting and she got back into her scrapbooking. So that was exciting. Um, so if you've been crafting over the weekend as well, we'd love to hear about it. Or if you've been doing something else that's interesting, then feel free to share that with us. I had a pretty low key weekend actually, fairly quiet. Um, I was on Cali duty over the weekend. So those of you that don't know, our little puppy is six months old now and um, still quite hands-on so um, she's an indoor dog and the girls and I take turns with her um, sleeping in our rooms and she has a little um, playpen that she sleeps in so we can just keep her contained overnight when we can't keep an eye on her um, but yes yeah, so I didn't get as much sleep over the weekend as I would have liked to 
<laughs> so hopefully I'll get a bit of a sleep in tomorrow. I think one of the girls is going to take her tonight so I can have a bit of a sleep in tomorrow. Oh, Amanda said she did lots of card making over the weekend. Fantastic. Love to hear that. That is awesome. So I've been um, coming up with designs for my next technique club. Um, so I'll, I'll be talking about that a little bit down the track. Um, but I've been coming up with them in my mind and I didn't quite, and I got all the products out. I didn't quite get it down on paper at, so to speak. Um, but, uh, yes, it is coming. So watch this space. <laughs> um, I thought today too, there was a couple of other things I wanted to ask you about. So I thought we might, um, talk a little bit about, oh, hi, Tina Marie. Great to have you here. Thank you for joining us. Hey, Leslie, great to have you here as well. We've been talking about what we've been doing on the weekend and um, some have been sharing. They've been doing some card making and some scrapbooking on the weekend. So that's exciting. Um, so if you want to share what you've been doing over the weekend, feel free to share with us. Um, we love to have a little chat. Um, but I was going to ask you um, if you like baking and what is your favorite thing to bake? I thought that we could talk about that today. Um, and that's going to lead into something I'm going to show you in a little while. Um, so, yes, Julie has been scrapbooking and some cards in the process. Fantastic. It was great to see your scrapbooking page, um, Julie, that you had started, which was looking beautiful. And Julie actually used some of our kits, um, our new kit collection kits to um, inspire her for her scrapbooking layout. She was sharing that with us. Um, in our team. So um, Julie's one of my team members. I've got a few of my team members on here today actually, which is awesome. Always a lot of fun. Um, yes, and so she was sharing that with us and I thought, wow, brilliant. That is so awesome. Um, and that is one thing I was going to share with you that our new kits can be used um, for other things as well because um, especially the stamping kits. The stamping kits, you'll have leftover product in there. So you might have some leftover labels, um, some leftover embellishments. You'll have your ink spot and your stamp set, of course, and your block. So you can use those to create other projects. Um, and that's what we're doing with our team this month. We're actually having, every month I set a creative challenge for our team, for those who would like to participate. And this month we're actually having um, a kit alternative challenge whereby they will use some of those um, leftover components of their kits to design a different project. Um, oh, I didn't, I meant to get mine actually. I meant to get mine. Um, remind me of that. We'll go back to talking about baking and I'll get that kit in a moment um, and I'll, I'll actually show you what I created on uh, last week. So um, yes, Julie loves baking. Yes, as we know. Yes, she does. Julie bakes beautiful things. Um, what's your favorite thing to bake though, Julie? I know you bake lots of yummy things, but what's your favorite? Do you have a favorite? Kathleen says that she loves baking muffins and also loves Maltese cooking. Oh, yum. That sounds like it would be really nice. So in Maltese cooking, Kathleen, is there particular um, types of um, things that they use in their cooking? Like is there particular spices or, um, you know, like, I guess if you think about some cuisines like Italian, for instance, they use a lot of pasta and that sort of thing. So in the Maltese cuisine, is there particular things that usually are, um, you know, like a theme throughout the cuisine? I'd love to know. I don't think I've actually eaten any Maltese dishes, so that would be awesome to try. But muffins, yes, we make a lot of muffins in our house here. Yep, Tina Marie says she loves cooking anything personally to eat any uh, and anything lemon. Yeah, awesome. We, um, our lemon tree, actually speaking of lemons, our lemon tree just finished fruiting. And so I had, <coughs> excuse me, I had been using um, those lemons quite a bit. Um, I actually like, you know how they say if you're unwell, you should have um, hot lemon and honey in water. Well, I like drinking it just any old time. So I've been using some of my lemons to juice and just having, because I'm not unwell, but I, um, just to have hot lemon, lemon and honey. So instead of having tea and trying to limit my caffeine, I don't drink coffee, but I do drink tea, but I try to limit my caffeine a little bit. So having either herbal teas or 
um, a hot lemon and honey drink. I love that too. But yes, lemon in cookery I love as well. Lemon muffins, lemon cake, anything lemony. My daughter made me a beautiful lemon meringue cake for my birthday. It was um, just a couple of weeks ago. It was three tiers high and it had the meringue on top and it had the lemon curd and she used some of our lemons. She had the lemon curd in between each layer. It was beautiful. And the best thing was it was gluten free. So I could eat it, which was awesome. <laughs> um, Leslie said loads of thinking, uh, oh, loads of thinking of your cards for the lockdown. Yes. Good idea. That's right, Leslie. So while we are in lockdown in Sydney, it is a great time to bring out our craft, get making with our cards. And um, if you are a scrapbooker as well, getting onto those projects that you've been putting off for a long time. Um, but yeah, it, it's a good time to be doing lots and lots of cards. And if possible, if you can get out to the um, post office or um, some of us can't get out at the moment, but if if you can get out to the post office and post some of those cards out to people just to encourage them and let them know that you're thinking about them during this time, that would be awesome as well. Um, oh, Fee loves roast dinner. That's a good one, Fee. Roast dinner, that is one of the yummiest things to cook, I reckon, too. I agree. And my family would agree also. It's one of their favourites. <laughs> Um, oh, so Kathleen said in Maltese cookery or Maltese cuisine, they use a lot of tomato and cheese. Yum. I love the sound of that already. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Julie loves baking cakes, biscuits and slices, but anything really. Awesome. That's so good. Me too. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, Tina said, Tina Marie said, lemon and honey drinks are so yum. Yes, I agree. I've been having a lot of them lately. Hi, Tracy. How are you going? Great to have you here. We are talking about um, cooking and baking and what we like to cook and bake. And that's going to lead into something I'm going to show you in a little bit. So, um, oh, and Tina Marie says she adores Julie's biscuits. Yes, she's had some of Julie's biscuits. I love Julie's um almond biscuits the almond crescent i think they were crescents weren't they julie almond crescent biscuits she made them one day for one of the classes um that she came to and um, she made it for everyone to share for afternoon tea and they were so delicious i would love i would i would love julie to just bring them every class that we have <laughs> but no expectations julie <laughs> Oh, we're not having in-person classes at the moment, sadly, because of COVID. Everything is online at the moment. And we're all really missing catching up. But hopefully, eventually, and we were just about to, I was just about to start back up face-to-face -face classes. And then this last, uh, this latest wave of COVID hit. So we just kind of missed out, like, by probably a matter of a couple of weeks. So, um, yeah, so that was annoying. But that's okay. We will get through it and eventually we'll be able to go back to face-to-face -face classes and we'll be able to meet up again and enjoy crafting together and um, enjoying each other's company, which is it's a big part of it, isn't it? Just sharing, sharing that um, enjoyment together. Um, <laughs> Amanda said, we need to stop now. We're making her hungry. <laughs> Uh, no worries, Tracy. We're just chatting. We ha I haven't started talking about much um, to do with Stampin' Up. We're just talking about food right now. <laughs> amaretti biscuits. Yes, Julie, they're the ones. Yes, the amaretti. Yeah, the almond ones. They're so yummy. Very Moorish too. They're hard to stop when you start on those ones. <laughs> um, Julie said, yes, I agree, Kathleen. And pasta. Ah, pasta as well. Yep. Yeah, so I love, um, my mum was renowned for her scones. Oh, you've, a lot of you have probably heard me talk about that before. Um, but also her um, slices. She used to make a lot of slices um, and biscuits too, but slices particularly and scones, especially the scones. Um, and I kind of inherited the, the baking um, gene and... Um, I've passed that on to my daughters as well, especially Brooke. Brooke loves to bake. Um, and so Amber does a little bit, but she doesn't enjoy it quite so much, but she does it. Um, but Brooke really enjoys baking and she often bakes for her workmates and takes that in for them. 
Um, she likes making special things for them for their birthdays and both the girls make birthday cakes for me which is awesome. They take turns each year I think. <laughs> but I love, so I used to make, and I don't make them now I have to say because I can't eat them anymore, but I used to make awesome Anzac biscuits. And it wasn't my own recipe, it was just a recipe from, um, you know, the good old woman's weekly biscuit and slices cookbook. But they were so yummy and everybody used to always rave about my Anzac biscuits. Um, but yeah, I don't cook them anymore because I can't eat them now. And so I can't not eat, I can't not eat them if I'm going to cook them. So I just don't cook them. And I've tried doing gluten-free versions and they don't cut the mustache. <laughs> They're just nowhere near as nice, so I don't. But I have been making my auntie's um, mandarin honey cake, which is gluten-free, and that is delicious. So I've had a bit of that just recently. But for the time being, I'm going off all sugar. I'm having a, a sugar a sugar um, siesta for a little bit. <laughs> Get back to the healthy eating for a little while, but all these yummy things, oh, they're making me want to start baking again. Oh, Julie's caramel slice is to die for, Tina Marie said. Oh, I can only imagine. My mum used to make a good one too. Yeah, and Kathleen's agreeing with Julie. Yeah, yes, and Fee said, oh, yum. <laughs> um, yes, exactly, Tina Marie. Tina Marie said, there's no point cooking if you can't eat it. I agree. That's right. And so often too, that's why I don't do a lot of cooking now. Um, as I used to because my family uh, we have a vegetarian in the family we have two fussy eaters very fussy eaters in the family and then there's me who's gluten-free and Brooke um, Brooke and I love to eat everything but Brooke um, sometimes reacts a bit to gluten as well although she's not fully gluten-free um, but I react to gluten quite badly so we've got so many dietary things oh plus we've all got allergies and um, uh, intolerances so we've got to be careful with all of that too so it sort of takes take some of the joy out of cooking but we do like baking is usually fine though we usually get away with baking that we can all eat so that's all we do a gluten-free version and an ordinary version for everybody else so so that's good so then I get lots so that's awesome <laughs> often I freeze mine um, I freeze half a batch when I like if I make a cake or something I'll cut it in half and then freeze half a batch or if we do gluten-free muffins I'll freeze half the batch um, because the gluten-free don't seem to last as long either and so then it also lasts me longer because then I can just defrost them when I'm ready to have them so it's awesome all right so that's a lot of fun talking about what we like to cook it's really fun. And are you like me? Do you like to taste the mixture when you're cooking? Because you've got to taste the mixture, haven't you? Because you, you've got to make sure that it tastes okay. You can't serve it to people if you haven't taste tested it first, right? <laughs> I think my mum got me into that bad habit when I was growing up. Whenever she was cooking, she'd always let, let me lick the beaters or have a little taste or something. <laughs> I'm getting lots of smiley faces going up. That's awesome. <laughs> but I do it in a COVID safe way nowadays, of course. So clean spoon, dip it in, you have your taste and then that spoon goes in the wash. And then if you need another taste later on, you get another clean spoon and have another taste. <laughs> I never double dip, especially when I promise I don't, especially when you're cooking for other people. Never double dip. No way. <laughs> Uh, Tina Marie says she likes taste testing too. Well, you got to, haven't you? You've got to make sure that you're not going to poison someone or, you know, have it too salty or too sweet or too something. It's got to be just right. <laughs> uh, that's a lot of fun. All right. Let's get on to some Stampin' Up! news. I was going to ask you about something else too. But, well, actually, I'll ask you about this because this will just be a quick response from each of you. If you have pets and you're happy to share, pop because you're always hearing me talk about Callie and before Callie, you were always hearing me talk about Molly. I'm always talking about my puppy dogs because they're my babies. If you have pets at home and you would like to share um, your pet's uh, species, 
their name and their breed if they are a dog or a cat or a specific breed or a horse or whatever um pop it in the comments because that is also going to lead into something we're going to share today so if you hey megan how are you going oh megan you're gonna have to go back and watch the replay after we finish we just had so much fun talking about cooking and baking what we like to make um everyone was getting hungry <laughs> you'll have to go back and watch the replay of the beginning bit <laughs> Um, yeah, so pop in the comments um, about your pet. Let me know about your pet because you're always hearing me talk about my pet. So um, I'd love to know more about your pets. Now, some of you I already know about pets. And if you don't have any pets, that's okay. Then you can even pop in the comment if you would like to. I don't have any pets at the moment. Um, <clears throat> but I would love to know about your pets. So Kathleen has a a brown English Springer Spaniel and his name is Oscar or oh, cute love him to bits as well yeah they're our babies aren't they yeah brown English Springer Spaniel wow and so are they the ones Kathleen that have the um, they're sort of a bit spotty like a bit mottly with their coloring or is it like a solid brown color um, Tina Marie has Mifflin and that is the name of her Bermilla cat yes and Chloe is a female bits of cat Yes, and I have met both Mifflin and Chloe and they're beautiful, beautiful cats. <laughs> um, Megan has too many dash hounds, black and tan, Frankie and, oh, that's Frankie, black and tan is Frankie and chocolate and tan is Basil. Great names, love that. Yes, yes, Kathleen agreed, yes. So um, they have the, the spotty, the spotty um, Springer Spaniels, yes. I thought I was just double checking that I had the right breed in my mind, Kathleen. Yeah, beautiful. And Rosalind has a Himalayan cat named Choco. Oh, beautiful. Oh, Himalayan cats are so pretty, aren't they? Oh, beautiful. Leslie has two Jack Russells, Ned and Kelly. I love that. That's so Aussie, isn't it? Ned and Kelly. That's so cool. And I've met Leslie's two little Jack Russells as well. They get very excited when visitors come. Oh, that's so cool. So those of you who don't know, but I'm sure you all know by now, I have little Molly, uh, little, oh, not Molly. Molly was our previous dog. I have little Callie and Callie is a purebred Maltese um, terrier, Maltese terrier, and she's six months old. So she keeps us on our toes. <laughs> oh, it's so great to hear about all of your pets as well. Yeah, thank you so much for sharing that. And anyone who's watching back on the replay later, feel free to add yours in as well. I'd love to hear about it. <laughs> um, Tracy says, Tracy says, I don't have a pet, but sometimes look after our daughter's dash hound, Indigo. Yes, she is adorable. Tracy, I didn't actually realize that Indy wasn't your dog. I always thought Indy was your dog. Isn't that funny? I didn't realize that she was your daughter's dog. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Indy's very cute also. Yes, another little dash hound. So we've got a couple on here that have dash hounds. Dash hounds are very popular nowadays too. One of um, Brooke's workmates has a dash hound puppy and she got her puppy about the same time as we got our puppy as well. And it's been so funny to compare the two of them with their, um, their um, what do you call them, their milestones. Like their milestones have been a little bit different even though they're the same age but i guess because well every dog is different anyway like every child i suppose but um i think through the breeds as well they're quite different so they were teething at different times and all different sorts of things her dog is much more calm and settled than our dog who's really up here all the time and hyper and crazy so yeah really really interesting oh they're very naughty are they megan oh okay that's interesting Brooke's um, friend who has the little dash hound. She's got a little, um, oh, it's a mottled colour dash hound. Uh, it's, is it called Brindle? I'm not sure if it's Brindle, but it's different colours. And um, yeah, apparently her little dash hound is really well behaved. So either she's trained it really, really well, or it's got a very calm nature, <laughs> one or the other. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I think we're failing in our training with Callie because she's still really hyper. <laughs> We're hoping she's going to settle down as she gets older. Um, oh, Tracy just said her daughter is moving to Queensland. Oh, and she's going to take Indigo with her. Oh, you'll miss Indy. Oh, that is sad, Tracy. Oh, 
Yes, Dapple, a Dapple. That's the one, Dapple. Thank you, Megan. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, thanks, Tracy. You and Megan were both on the same track. Yes, a Dappled Dash Hound. That's the one that um, Brooke's friend has. Yeah. Um, uh, Tina Marie. Oh, Leslie said, Tina Marie, my son named them after Ned Kelly. Yeah. Yeah. Tina Marie said she picked up on that. Yeah. Now that, that's a really cool Aussie name for two dogs, I reckon. That's awesome. Cool. Oh, thank you so much for sharing about your pets. It's great to get to know more about you and, and the things that you like. And, and yeah, so I think, um, you're all going to like some of the things I'm going to be sharing with you today because that's why I asked those specific questions. So I'll get onto that in a moment. But first of all, let me tell you a few things that's happening in Stampin' Up. So we have, let me find my piece of paper. Here it is. You probably all know by now, you've probably seen me post about it or seen, seen it all over Facebook. Um, or if you're a demonstrator yourself, you would already know this, but we have our designer series paper sale running at the moment. Let me move this way so that you can see it. So there are nine selected packs of designer series paper in the sale and each one of those is 15% off. So that's a great saving. Now, if you're a demonstrator, of course, you get your demonstrator discount on top of that as well. So um, we are very, very lucky. Stampin' Up! looks after us really well as demonstrators. Um, so I'll talk more about that in a moment. But yes, if you are interested in any of these papers, then get them now while they're on special. And they're on special until the 3rd of, oh, let me get that, 2nd of August, the day before the new mini catalog launches. So 2nd of August, they're available um, and there's nine to choose from. Now, in my last order, I got uh, three more packs of papers that I didn't have yet and they are all on sale. So I thought I'd quickly show you those first before I got into the other brand new, 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 new products, which is very exciting. Um, so yes. So, but before we get on to that, let me just remind you of a couple of other things first. So, of course, um, we've got our kit collection, which I mentioned before. Remember about our kit collection. Um, look out for those beautiful kits. There's 10 to choose from and they're awesome. So there's non-stamping kits. If you're new to stamping or you just want some quick projects to whip up really quickly, there's some non-stamping kits. Great for kids too, by the way. Um, also great for gifts. If you're gifting them to somebody and you're not sure if they're crafty or not, they're great. They're only um, $21. I think it's $21 for the non-stamping kits. Yes. And $33 for the... Um, stamping kits so the ones that include stamps ink a block um, and all of the consumable items that you need to create those um, projects including adhesives which is awesome um, so yeah so look out for all of those kits there's heaps and heaps to choose from um, and as i said before if you have uh, oh i was going to get that project out wasn't it oh i think it's over here hang on a sec um, let me see. I've got a trolley over here of projects that I've cards that I've made. Um, oh, it's not there. Wait, where did I put it? Oh, you know what? I think I put it in the box. I think I actually put it in the box with the kit. Wait, let me grab that. So it was one of the new ones that I got, not that one. I've got a few of the kits now. Nope, not that one. That one I haven't used yet. That's a brand new one I haven't used yet. This one is the, um, which one is this one? Oh, I haven't even opened it. Look, it's still in the plastic. This one is the Sentimental Rose Card Kit. So I haven't opened that one yet. It's all still in the packet. But I've got the stamps and the ink block. They come packaged separately. So there they are there, beautiful stamps in there. So yes, I'm saving that one for my um, creative kit night, which is coming up on the 30th of July. Maybe it's this one. I've got four kits now. I had five, but I finished one. Ah, I found it. There it is. Okay. Pop those ones over there. So this kit, I'll just quickly show you this. This kit was the A Little Smile kit. Really, really lovely kit. These are really cute little um, gift cards, and I and they and you have this little pouch too. Actually, I'll show you. 
here's the little pouch. So you can see me holding that. Um, it's quite small, but I actually got this one because I really wanted to have this to pop in my handbag, although at the moment we're not going anywhere, but um, to have in my handbag so that when I go somewhere, if I want to give somebody a thank you, like somebody that served me or like the physio when I go, because I'm always at the physiotherapist for my back. Um, those of you that don't know, I've got um, issues with my back and my neck constantly. Um, but there's these cute little cards and even if you go to the grocery store or the post office or anywhere, I thought they're just a sweet little a little card that you could just whip out of your bag, quickly write a little thank you note and give it to someone just to show your appreciation. Um, even the receptionist at the doctor's surgery or at the dentist or the physio or wherever you go. Um, yeah, and there's all different little cards in there. And then all of those little, that's just one of them. There's several others. I don't think I did. Yeah, I did, did do them all, I think. There's that one. That's really cute. Love these ones. These beachy ones I really love. And there's, and they all come with these cute little, these little envelopes. Let me show you. So that's the back and that's the front. It's got this cool little wood grain design on it. Um, and this is the other little one. So I took the, that's three of them. And the fourth one, I wanted to show my team how you can actually um, use them to step them up if you want to. So these little cards fit into this little pouch. And they, I don't, I'm not sure how many it will fit, but it expands out at the side there. Wait, let me show you. Expands out there. So it will probably fit, probably fit all of them in there actually. Um, and then it's got a little, a little do up. I don't know what you call those little things, actually. I'll just call them a do up. <laughs> you know, where you wrap the, the twine around. But anyway, the fourth design, I actually turned it into, and I haven't posted this one yet on um, social media, but I will. Um, but I made it into a full size card. So that, that there is actually the card front. So that's the size of it there, those little ones there. And then I added some layers and I used the stamps that come with the set uh, to create more sand here. And I stamped some of the starfish from the stamp set. This is the stamp set that comes with it. So this little stamp set here. I used the starfish to stamp onto some vellum and I embossed that in white. And then I just used some linen trim that I had in my stash and wrapped that around there. And these, these pieces here are all from the kit, except the pearls. I added the pearls. But are they cute? So yeah, you can certainly step them up if you want to and make them up into um, full-size cards. But I love this idea of having these to pop in my handbag and have them with me all the time so that I can then just um, quickly whip one out of my bag, write a quick little thank you note, because you don't need to write too much. It's just a lovely little sentiment to give to somebody and, and you might brighten their day. Um, and it doesn't even have to be thank you either. It might be if you bump into someone who might be having a hard day or or somebody, you see someone in the store that might be in looking like they're having a struggle or something, just give them a nice little card just to say I'm thinking of you, you know? So, yeah, so just a, a few little ideas there for you, but look out for those kits. They're awesome. And as I said, there's 10 to choose from. All right, um, now the other thing I was going to remind you of is the mini catalogue. I think I spoke about it last week. So our beautiful new mini catalogue is coming out again. So this one is the July to December mini catalogue. Now because of COVID and supply issues, Stampin' Up! actually had to push back the release date to August. So that it's going to be available from the 3rd of August. It's still called the July to December catalogue because that's what it usually will be. But just for this year, it had to be pushed back to August. Um, so yeah, so beautiful, beautiful products in here. There's a little sneak peek of the cover. Now, if you are a current customer of mine and you have purchased with me in the last six months, I've already ordered a copy for you and had that sent to you directly from Stampin' Up. Um, if you haven't received it yet, don't panic. They're still coming. Um, they'll be going out in um, what they call bulk postage or bulk shipping. So everyone should start to receive them really, really soon. So make sure you let me know when you start receiving your copy. 
um, so that I know that you've got it because if you haven't got it then I can follow up. Now if you're not currently a customer of mine and you are looking for a demonstrator and you don't already have a demonstrator that you're working with, um, please let me know and I would love to send you a catalogue. I've got some spares here already on my shelf and um, I would love to send those out to you. So in fact I sent some out on um, the weekend as well to some new customers so that was pretty exciting. So let me know if you would like one. Now not only that but for August and September, and this also launches on the 3rd of um, August, we have celebration. So we are so lucky this year that we have two celebrations. Isn't that awesome? So we had celebration already in January and February, and now we've got another celebration, so a second celebration in uh, August and September. So this will run from the 3rd of August through to the 30th of September. And if you're not familiar with Celebration, what happens is, and at the moment you might be wondering why I'm not showing you the inside of the catalogue if you're not familiar um, with this, but I can't show you the insides of the catalogue until they launch on the 3rd of August. So that's why I'm just showing you the cover, but I can show you the products that I have. And I have already got products from both of these. And that's what I'm gonna be sharing with you today. So um, yes, with Celebration, for uh, purchases over $90, you will then get to choose a free product from this celebration brochure. Now there's level one and level two products. So level one products are for if you spend over $90 and level two products are for if you spend over $180. Now if you get to $180, you can either choose one of the level two products or you can choose two of the level one products which is awesome. So I got a few of those the other day in my order, a couple of days ago in my order. So I'm gonna show you some of those today, but there's lots and lots in here to choose from. So look out for those, um, so the mini catalog and celebration. And again, if you would like copies of these and you don't already have a demonstrator, please let me know and I would love to send them out to you. All right, now the other exciting thing too is that um, if you join Stampin' Up! now, you can actually get these already. As you'll see, I've already got some of these products, so we're able to order um, from the mini catalogue, and we're also able to already earn free products from the Celebration brochure. So I've got some of both already, which is what I'm gonna share with you today. So that is one of the perks of being a, Demo a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. We get um, our hands on those brand new products a whole month earlier than um, everybody else, than the customers. So it's super, super exciting. So to join Stampin' Up, um, there is no pressure to sell to anybody. If you want to join just for the discount yourself, you will get a 20% discount on all of your orders. Um, and if you wanna join just to get that discount yourself, um, you certainly can do that. There's no pressure to sell to anybody if you don't want to. Of course, there is a business opportunity there for those that wish to, um, to go down that road. But if not, then you can just join for the discount, but it is the best value. And um, I love to share that with people because I love, I want everyone to get the best value. And it's um, joining is always the best, um, the best offer in, in the catalog. So um, it's only $169. And what happens is for that $169, you will actually choose $235 worth of product of your own choice to put into what is called the starter kit. So basically it's just a collection of products that you have chosen yourself um, up to the value of $235 and you only pay $169 for it. Then after that, you'll get that 20% discount. Now also too, the starter kit is um, free to ship to you as well. So no additional shipping free on that starter kit. So that's super awesome. Um, you'll then be joining my team and I have an awesome team. Um, a few of my team members are currently on here as well. So I'm sure that they will vouch for you how much fun we have together as um, as a team. Um, we do lots of fun things um, as a team group and um, yeah, and we've developed some beautiful friendships within our team as well. So if you'd like more information about that, I do have extra information I can give you. Um, so please let me know, get in contact with me, send me a private message and I'd love to have a chat with you about that and give you some more information. All right. Um, also too, don't forget we do have the big annual catalogue as well and I can show you the inside of this one because this one is current so this one everybody can order from already 
there are so many beautiful products in there as well and this has got 177 pages worth of yumminess inside and um, I as I said I got a few new products the other day as well also from that catalog um, okay so a couple more things before I show you these products I'll just remind you that um, I've got my creative kit night coming up on the 30th of July it's a Friday night it'll be at 7 30 p.m. Um, so if you would like to come along to that go to my online store at either uh, my blog at mandyspapercraftcreations.blogspot.com or you can go direct to my website which is mandywithab.stampinop.net and both of those look for the shop button click on that it'll take you through to my online shop and then look for the kit collections and then um, if you purchase those kits through my online store I'll then send you the link for our um, creative kit night it'll be via zoom so we'll be creating together live doesn't matter which kit you choose because I've got the instructions for all of them so if you get stuck I can help you um, but they're really easy to put together and it's a lot of fun I did it with my team just recently um, after our team meeting last week we um, sat together and made our kits and we had a great time it was lovely so um, yeah so definitely watch out for that now my technique club sadly has been a little bit delayed this month I've had a few things happening so um, I've had to delay my technique club at the moment I've got that pushed back to Saturday the 31st of um, July at this stage um, because we just had a few other things that were happening and I wasn't sure um, yeah what what was going on uh, but I've got that set now for the 31st of July so I'll be posting that event really soon so look out for that one as well um, and I've already chosen the um, the technique that we're going to be doing which is the black ice technique so um, look out for that one look out for that event and register for that one all right so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tip the camera down now let me just see um I have been talking so much I haven't been watching comments so let me just quickly zoom back through and just see if I missed anything uh, Megan said that kit is amazing yes love it um, hi Jenny Jenny's jumped on as well great to see you Jenny bit frosty and tazzy today oh is it what temperature is it down there today Jenny hey Glenda Glenda's here as well hope you are well yes I am well at the moment thank you very much and praying that I stay that way <laughs> and my whole family as well um, uh, the case or oh, oh the, the little case I was holding up looked teal yes it is um I'm not sure it's kind of like a mint macaron or soft coastal cabana um, color Tina Marie it's that little case with the little cards in it it's really really pretty it's a lovely color um, it's a, it is sort of a greeny blue it is a greeny blue so you were on the right track sometimes it's a little bit hard to tell with the lighting and things so yeah um, oh Glenda said hers came today fantastic and she's done a huge order and she can't wait for it to come yay that's so exciting I love hearing when people get new product it's so exciting <laughs> Um, Megan said she just worked out what you have used today I think I just worked out what you have to use today I'm not understanding that you might need to give me a bit more explanation Megan I just worked out what you have to use today I think oh for, oh <laughs> share with me Megan share with me let me know what you would like me to use today <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna pop that back up there all right so what I'm gonna do is I will um, tip the camera down and we'll get started and I'll show you I'm just gonna move all of my notes here um, where shall I put them I'll put, uh, up there okay I'll tip the camera down and um, down to the desktop and I'll show you all of these beautiful new products that I got um, oh what new product I'm using today well actually We'll see if I actually get time to have a play with anything today because I've already been talking so long and I've got so much to show you. We'll see how much time we've got if we've got time to actually even have a play today, Megan. <laughs> we'll see how we go. All right, I'll just cover up the camera. Just give me a moment. All right, we'll flip those cameras. 
and I'll get everything ready for you. Excuse the noise and the clunkiness as I just adjust my stand. Got to do all these clamps up tightly so that the camera doesn't sag. And we'll adjust the lighting and we'll see how that all is looking. I think I've got it quite straight today. There we go. Oh, my cord wants to keep hanging down in the way. How can I hook that? Oh, there we go. Hook that up there on the clamp. Oh, that's looking a bit better. Oh, still a little bit crooked. Just a touch more. How's that now? Let's see. Let's see. Waiting for the camera just to catch up. All right. So, um, let me pop down for you my blog if you are looking for that and my host code and let me remind you too that if you are shopping with me um, be sure to use my host code because um, if your order is over $50 I will actually send you a thank you gift for shopping with me so be sure that you use my <clears throat> excuse me my host code so my host code changes every month every month it'll be a different code um, this is the one for July so that will go up until the end of July um, and then there'll be a new one for next month so yeah um, if you'd like to go to my blog there's lots of um, creative inspiration on there as well and sometimes I join in in blog hops so you can go from my blog to other people's blogs as well to have a look and get some more further creative inspiration from other demonstrators as well which is always exciting um, and you'll also find there my shop button, my joining button. I've got some tutorials for sale, which um, I'm going to be updating. It's on my to-do list. I'm going to be updating that and adding some tutorials um, to that very soon. Um, I went to do it on the weekend and then I ran out of time. So I um, set it aside, but I'll get to it. I'll get to it. All right. So first of all, let me go back to the, uh, before we get onto the brand new catalogue, items I'm going to share with you first of all some of the papers that I received from um, the designer series paper sale the ones that are on special now one pack I have opened because I was going to use that today and then I changed direction of what I was going to do but the other ones I haven't opened yet so I'm going to be opening them for the first time with you all today which I thought would be really super fun so this one is one of the ones on special. This is the Sweet Symmetry Designer Series paper. And this one, if you love colour and pattern and floral, you're going to love this one. Now, it is really busy paper. Hang on, I'm going to take it right out of the pack. It is really busy paper, but um, I love the colours in this. And I just think they're going to make beautiful, beautiful projects. So here's the... Um, oops, I've got them around. Hang on a minute. Let's go this way so that you can see them up the right way. So I'm showing you the front side and the, this is the reverse side. So front side and reverse side. I love the colours in here, actually. I'll tell you all the colours in here in a moment. This one, I love this one. I think this one's my favourite one. Really pretty. This one's got a lot of... Um, uh, flirty flamingo in it as well which I love and the um, ooh, 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 bumblebee looks awesome so it's that one and then that beautiful blue one that's really pretty so sometimes too um, sometimes people don't like papers that are really busy but if you turn over to the opposite side then they're usually more um, muted or solid colors and that's what I love about um, the Stampin' Up! Designer Series paper, that you've got a lot of choice because you've got the front side and the back side. Yeah, I think that's all of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep, that's all of them there. So this is the Sweet Symmetry. So let me tell you the... Um, and there is a whole suite in the Sweet Symmetry um, product range as well. Um, I don't have the stamp sets or anything at this stage. I just bought the Designer Series paper because it was one that I didn't have. But it will coordinate with other stamps as well. Um, so in this one, we have got Bumblebee, Calypso Coral, Flirty Flamingo, Knight of Navy, Just Jade and Whisper White, which is now Basic White. So aren't they awesome? I really love them. What do you think? 
Um, oh, thank you, Tracy. Tracy said Mandy is a great team leader too. Thank you so much, Tracy. That's lovely. <laughs> um, Megan said, "What new product? Uh, what new product you are using today?" Oh, yes, that's what you were referring to before in your previous comment. Yes, I worked that out eventually. <laughs> um, Julie said she's seen lots of projects made with this designer series paper. Yes, I have as well. Um, I have to say, originally, I wasn't going to get this one because I don't normally work with um, ones like this. But then when I saw all the projects that have been coming up lately, it made me fall in love with it. So I um, decided to, to get it and I really like it now that I've got it. And sometimes too, I think when you um, see it in person, it's very different to seeing it in the catalogue. And yeah, and so I like to, I do like to see them in person. Tina Marie likes the navy piece. Yes, I thought you might, Tina Marie, because that's really your colour, isn't it? Your favourite one. Um, and it reminds me a little bit of the boho indigo. Oh, now I can't find that navy piece. Reminds me a little bit, this one, reminds me a little bit of the boho indigo um, product medley that we had as well. Very similar in, um, yeah, in design and colourings. So that's that one. So that one's on special, 15% off. Now this one, I am eventually going to get the whole suite. It's on my wish list of this one. So this is the um, In the Wild designer series paper. And this comes from the In the Wild um, suite in the annual catalogue. Actually, let me, I'll find it for you and show you. Yeah, so the papers that I got today are actually from, oh, not today, the ones I'm showing you today are from Sweets. Um, in the wild suite 44 to 45 oh, I'll show you the other one too um, sweet symmetry 112 to 113 so let's go there and I'll show you those ones Oop. there so that's the sweet symmetry suite oops there we go so that's the whole suite there um, so you've got the stamp sets there's a punch as well if you can see that I'll move that up a little bit there's a punch as well, a border punch. Um, then you've got the, the stamp set and the designer series paper and the flirty flamingo ribbon as well. I do have that ribbon. It's beautiful ribbon. This one here, it's real shimmery. Oh, probably you can't see that with the light reflecting. But yeah, really, really pretty. So yeah, so that's the, that's the rest of the suite. So I'll probably eventually get the stamp set as well because um, I think it will make some really beautiful cards. So that's that one, and the In the Wild, what page did I say that one was on? I love that I can go to the front of my catalogue on page three and look up all of the suites. <laughs> it makes it so much easier to find things. Um, so if you didn't know that that's there, that's on page three. It's your um, table of contents there, uh, which makes it much easier to find things. So In the Wild suite 44 to 45. Here it is here. <gasps> How awesome is this suite? I love it. So you can create panthers and leopards and tigers. Um, just so awesome. I think this is really fun. So I haven't had a suite like this one. Well, I haven't seen a suite like this one before. So I am going to eventually get the whole suite, but at the moment I've just got the papers. Um, I will get the stamp set and the dies eventually as well. And the embossing folder, which I don't have yet either. So that makes beautiful animal print. So let's have a close-up look at the designer series paper. I haven't even opened this one yet. So I'm looking for the very first time with you. Let me see. I'll open it from this corner. There we go. I always like to um, just open it along the top corner because I like to keep mine in the plastic to protect it from the dust. Even though I store them on my shelf, I like to still keep them in the plastic because sometimes they still can pick up dust, I have discovered. Oh, so look at all these beautiful tigers. Wait, let's see what colours we've got in this. What have we got? We've got basic black, Cajun craze, so that will be this one. Crushed curry. Uh, evening evergreen. Yep, you can see that in there. Um, Merry Merlot. Soft succulent. That will be this lighter colour. And white. So the Mary Merlot will be in some of the other papers, I think. Oh, so let me show you both sides. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. 
That doesn't even have to be used with this sweep. That could be used with anything. Oh, that'd be nice with some gold in the project too, wouldn't it? Oh, hi, Laurie. How are you going? Hi, Athena. You've jumped on as well. Great to see you, ladies. Great to see you. Oh, um, Laurie and Athena, I'll let you know just because you're jumping on now. At the beginning of today's live, we had a lot of fun talking about um, baking and, and cooking and also about our pets as well. So after um, I finish my live today, be sure to go back and watch the replay of the beginning that, that um, where we were talking about that. It was a lot of fun and a lot of us were getting hungry. <laughs> yeah, I love this one. That will be so versatile. And we've got these beautiful big cats. Look at that. And I think from what I heard is some of the dyes actually coordinate with um, these as well, these big ones, these big images. I don't have the dyes um, just yet, so I can't test, but I'm pretty sure I saw on the demonstration that they, um, yeah, that they do coordinate. Oh, let's have a look at the other side. The other side. Oh, that's a nice leopard print. Cool. Again, that could be used for anything because there's a lot of leopard print in fashion too, isn't there? So it doesn't have to necessarily be just used with this suite. Uh, Megan said she's not a fan of this paper. This one's not for you, Megan. That's okay. We all have our different tastes, don't we? So this one's really nice. This one's very busy paper, this one, with all the big cats on there. Let's have a look at the other side. Oh, there we go. That's that beautiful Cajun craze. Very nice. Then we've got... Oh, hang on, I'm just going to try and spread them out a little bit so we can see them all spread out. This one's a nice one, this next one. Hang on a sec, there we go. This one's really lovely. That could be used for lots of different things. Not necessarily just with the animals either. I love that about the um, Stampin' Up! designer series paper. You often get that with the reverse side. You'll get something really versatile. Um, yeah, something that's really versatile to be able to use for lots of different things. Let's have a look at the other side. Oh, animal print. Awesome. That reminds me of a rug, actually. It looks like a rug to me. Like the, the um, texture in a rug. Like a really fluffy rug. And then this one. This one's got all the colours. Look at all the beautiful colours in this one. That's really nice. Let's have a look on the other side. Oh, look, we've got some vine, some vine leaves. Well, they could go that way or that way, depending if you wanted them hanging down or going up. That's nice. Oh. This one here lends itself to lots of different things too because it's you've got lots of different colours in there that you can um, match up. So, oh, this one's cute. Look at the little leopards. Leopards? No. Yes, leopards. Leopards have spots. Yes. They're cute. And then let's see what's on the reverse side. Oh, Cajun Craze. Oh, that one would be great for masculine cards too, wouldn't it? That one. That's nice. That Cajun Craze paper. Great for masculine cards. So there you go. So there's that one. That's in the wild. So again, 15% off that one. Okay, then I got the Tithings of Christmas. So this one is in the annual catalogue, even though we're going to be looking at the mini catalogue in a moment. Um, Tina Marie says she likes the last one. Ah, cool. The green one. The, no, the Cajun Craze one. The one I said would be good for masculine cards. Yeah. Um, yeah, so this one is actually the... Um, designer series paper is from the suite which is the twelve tidings let me find that one for you and that one is um, in the annual catalog as well and then we're going to move on to mini catalog I'll show you this one and then we'll move on to mini um, bu -bu 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 -bu, where is it tidings of Christmas 88 to 89 and I don't have this suite yet either but I do have the paper now so I can use that with my Christmas projects. There we go. I do like this one actually. I was looking at this. Um, I was looking at this one before and thought oh, I was so tempted to get it, and then I thought, oh no, I'll wait till closer to Christmas. Um, and now I've just bought a whole heap of stuff from the mini catalog. Plus, I've still got a wish list. So, <laughs> but 
but this one's really lovely I love the designs on the um, Christmas stockings and the stars and you've got all these other little elements as well and then you've got some beautiful sentiments in there and the designer series paper which I'm going to show you and um, the chevron ribbon the chevron ribbon is in the evening evergreen color which is really beautiful ribbon hard to see on camera um, but take a look in your catalog um, yeah it's really beautiful so let's have a look at the paper so this one is six by six I have to try and open the top carefully so that I don't and let's just see okay so this has got um, they're in groups of four because you get 48 sheets is that right yeah 48 sheets in this one so they're in groups of four so you get four sheets no sorry six six sheets hang on a minute how, how many have we got so that's one two three four five six seven eight oh yes of course eight because there's a total of 48 of course so there's eight sheets of each one so that's the front side and let's have a look at the reverse side oh that's nice that's the reverse side of that one then we've got we'll go this way this time let me move them over then we've got this one which is nice that, that looks like sahara sand is that sahara sand we've got cherry cobbler evening evergreen misty moonlight sahara sand yep i was right awesome soft succulent and wisp of white and then we've got the little holly berries they're nice holly berries and leaves this one is in the cherry cobbler i always love cherry cobbler for christmas cards i think it's one of the best um, colors for christmas cards that's nice too these these papers are going to make beautiful christmas cards and we've got oh i'm just trying to pull them out of the packet as i go Oops, did I get one or two? One. There we go. That one. And the reverse side of that is that one. I'm trying to try and go a little bit quicker now because it's that one. And we've got some red and white stripes, which is lovely. Always like a good red and white stripe for Christmas, I have to say. We've got another Sahara sand one. That one's pretty too. Really nice. Actually, those that one, those two Sahara sand ones, and even in evening, ugh, even the ever, evening evergreen and the stripes, they could all be used for other event, um, other cards as well, not necessarily Christmas. There we go. So that's all of them, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yep. So that's all of the designs, but you get a total of forty-eight pieces in the um, the pack. So aren't they lovely? really beautiful designs in there and because the paper's small the designs are small too um which often is is what um you know what we're looking for so there you go so that one again is also 15 percent off it was 20 dollars, and now it's 17 dollars. but if you're a demonstrator you'll get your um discount as well your 20 percent discount or 25 percent discount if you're on 25 percent discount so that's that one so there we go. So they are the rest of the papers from the um, annual catalogue. Now let's go on to the mini catalogue. Very exciting. Now again, I can't show you the inside, um, but I can show you the products. So let me first show you this suite. Now this one, um, I don't have the complete suite but I just bought some of the elements from the suite. So this is the gingerbread and peppermint suite. I haven't opened any of these yet. So again, I'm opening these all with you brand new today. So let's have a look first at the um, stamp set. So this is the frosted gingerbread stamp set. Super, super cute. Um, wait until you see the catalog with all of these products. Um, of course, if you're a demonstrator, you've already got access to that catalog. So um, I just, yeah, I just love the samples that are in the catalogue as well. But super, super cute. They do look like gingerbreads. Now they're shown on the cover at 90% um, just to fit all of the images on there. But of course the stamps themselves are larger than that. And I even love this border. Look at that. It looks like an iced border, border like a piped, piped iced border. 
um, something that my mum used to do on cakes and cookies and things too. Um, and then you've got these lovely sentiments. Now these, these are shown back to front, of course, because when you stick your stamps onto there, so you take them off the between, take them out between the plastic and um, adhere them to the case, then you can see where all of your stamps are and you can see if you're missing any. So um, I will get to that. But yeah, I really love those. I think they're, they're gonna be so much fun to play with. Then we've got some dies as well, the gingerbread dies. I haven't even taken them out of the plastic yet. Look at that. Try and get them out of the plastic. There we go. Let's peel that away. Let's have a look at these dies and see. So again, you can buy the stamps and the dies as a bundle. And remember when you do that, you save yourself 10%. Um, uh, just reminding you that these products are going to be available from the 3rd of August until the i believe it's the third of january let me just double check yes until the third of january so oh super cool look so they're in the dies there's the so there's the die that will cut out the cookie is that the star one no that's a separate one wait that's that's not one of the um what's his these ones are this is a separate one this is an additional one so that's cool so you've got an additional star die there so you can cut the um outer part or you can cut the detail or you can cut the outer part and then the detail but these three are the ones that coordinate with these stamps if i pulled out the wrong ones yep so they'll coordinate with those ones then you've got um dies that coordinate with the peppermints as well which is awesome then you've got some other peppermints here as well or some other tiny circles hey they would even be great for other um, projects if you need a really small circle how often have you looked for really small circles i know i have um, even to make bubbles or something like that on other projects if you're doing sea sea themed projects they'll be really cool um, but or you can add the um, little peppermint swirl inside them to create peppermints and then the same with these ones like these have the so you can use the die to um, die cut out the stamped image now remembering that this is at 90 percent this is a hundred percent so of course when you stamp it it will be um the image will be bigger than that and so then you can die cut that or you can die cut a solid piece or say from a piece of cardstock and then die cut the detail as well so that's pretty awesome cool 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 and i love that border that border is so pretty love that they're going to be so fun to work with okay so that's those two and then also in the suite is some new decorative masks so these are the adorning designs decorative masks um Tina Marie said, when it comes to colour, I'm always right. Usually, sometimes I get it wrong, but I'm, I usually know my colours, my Stampin' Up! colours. Ah, oh, Fee said she's ordered those as well. Awesome. And Tina Marie said, the cookie die and the icing die. Yes. Yes, that'll be, that's right. So these are really nice um, decorative masks, aren't they? Really nice designs in those. So there's one, there's two. I'm not going to fit all four there's oh got to be careful with this one this one's getting stuck on the other one note to self treat that one carefully <laughs> got some diagonal lines there which are always awesome for um, Christmas projects and then of course we've got some beautiful snowflakes because snowflakes are synonymous with Christmas aren't they not so much here in Australia but overseas they are in a lot of the uh, in america and european countries so yeah so there you go so that's the decorative masks oh these ones i really like these are pretty they'll be really fun to play with and again some of these not necessarily for christmas you can use them for other projects as well i love um decorative masks i love playing with them they're so much fun 
All right, then we've got the designer series paper. Let's have a quick look at that. We'll open that up. Again, I haven't seen this in the flesh yet. Oh, look, we've got, um, I think, maybe the dies coordinate with the paper too. Let's have a look. Oh, there we go. There's that star. Let's see. <gasps> yes, it does. Look at that. It fits. So the dies cut out these images as well, or well, the stars anyway. We don't have a mitten um, die, but we can hand cut the mitten. That's an easy shape to cut out. So that's cool. And the peppermints, I bet one of those peppermint dies fits those little peppermints because they're, yep. So the little circle dies cut out the peppermints as well. So there you go. That's pretty cool. Love that. All right, let's see what else we've got in here. Let's have a look at the reverse side. On the reverse side, we've got some plaid. I'll go this way. Um, again, this is a 48 um, piece pack, I think. Let me double check. Yes, should be. Usually the six by sixes are 48 sheets. And we've got that one. And on the reverse of that one, We have that one. Ooh, that's nice. Wait, let's check the colours. Cinnamon Cider, Early Espresso, Old Olive and Real Red. Oh, there we go. We've just got four colours in this one, which is good. It's not too overwhelming. Then we've got, oh, that's cute. Look at that one. That's really cute. And on the other side of that, we've got some icing for our gingerbread. Oh, look what we've got. We've got some little tree cookies. How cute are they? Super cute. Some more plaid, which looks like it's, it actually does look, when you see it in person, it does look like it's been piped onto gingerbread. Uh, the camera probably isn't picking that up, but when you see it in real life, it does have more of a um, 3D effect. And some more piping on some more, cookies, some more peppermints, and no, right, we're still going. Ooh, that one's nice. Look at all of those. And we've got some more plaid on that side. And I think we might be back to the beginning. Oh, no, no, no. There's some more. This one, I think, has got more designs in it. Definitely seems to have more designs in it. It's that one. And on the other side of that is... Sorry, I'm all fingers and thumbs here trying to get them out of the packet. And then that one. We didn't have that one yet, did we? It's another one like the others. And on the other side of that is that one. So many designs in here. This is awesome. Um, is that the, wait a minute. Is that that one? No, this is another different one. Yeah, wow, we're still going. There's still more designs. Let's move that one. Can you see all of those? I'm running out of room on my desk. Might have to lay some over the top. That's the reverse of that one. And then there's that one. That's on the reverse of that one. Wow, there are so many papers in this paper pack. I am blown away by all these papers. Um, <laughs> Tina said, masks, masks everywhere for COVID. Yes, <laughs> that's right. Um, Julie said the red checked paper reminds her of baking cooling racks. The red, the red checked paper. This one? Is that this one? Oh, I froze then for a moment. All right, where are we up to? I'm losing track. Okay, we must be nearly at the end now. Oh, we've got some more here. Hang on a minute. I think this is the last one. So we've got those stripes and then that one as well. So that's it. Yes, that one. Julie said that reminds her of um, 
cooling racks for baking. Yeah, it does actually. Yeah. So there we go. So look at all the papers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 different designs. So there's 12 double-sided sheets um, and there's a total of 48 in the pack. So how cool is that? So many. That one is going to be super versatile, I think, for Christmas. Beautiful. I love those. I see you, you can see them so much better in person than you can see them um, in the catalogue. I love seeing things in the catalogue, but to see them in person is just, yeah, just makes such a difference. Now, these are the, um, the embellishments that go with the suite. These are the gingerbread and peppermint acrylic shapes. So these can just be attached with um, some glue or let's put the different ones in the lid or um, perhaps some of the larger ones could, you could use glue dots. These are made with, well, it does say acrylic, but it reminds me of my dad's old engraving business. It feels like it's, um, oh, what do you call it? Um, perspex, like a, like a thick perspex almost. I don't know if it is, but that's what it reminds me of. So many different little elements in here. Not sure if you're picking up the white ones. I need to put them on a darker color really, don't I? Um, let's see. I don't have a darker color. Hang on a sec. Here we go pop them here onto my basic grey cardstock and you'll be able to see them a bit better. I might even need to hold them up. I feel like my camera is not focusing very well today. Am I freezing? Does it keep freezing? So many different little elements in here. These will be so fun to play with. So they're in the red and white and it's kind of like each, each design in the red and each design in the white. So let's see how many different designs there are. So that one and that one. And just having a look in here. Yes. So that must be right. So how many have got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that sounds about right. How many are in here? Oh, wow. There's 120. There's 120 in here. That's heaps, isn't it? There we go. I think that's all the designs. Let me hold them up. Let's see if I can hold them up for you. There you go. Can you see those? They're really cute. They're quite thick plastic um, or acrylic, as they say. And the white ones actually seem thicker than they are. The white ones are actually a little bit thicker than the red ones. So aren't they super cute? They'll be nice little elements on our um, cards. Our Christmas cards. Yeah, really cool. I like those. Oh, I, I am freezing sometimes, am I? Oh, I'm sorry. It must be our internet. Um, I have got everybody at home at the moment, so it's possibly uh, lagging a little bit. I'm so sorry. Um, Jenny said, no masks in Tassie, thank goodness. And COVID, COVID, nice. Oh, no COVID. Nice Christmas paper. Does it come in 12 by 12? These ones are actually in 6 by 6, Jenny. These ones. Um, some of the other designs are in 12 by 12, but this particular one is just in 6 by 6. So usually they'll be one or the other. They'll usually be available in either 12 by 12 inches or 6 by 6 inches. Oh, shaker cards. Yes, Kathleen. These will be perfect for shaker cards. That'll be lovely. Yeah. Um, Fleur de Lis. Tina, is that what you were saying? These little ones? Yeah, they are a bit like a fleur de lis. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry that I keep freezing. All right. And the other thing that I have in this suite is um, the gingerbread and peppermint memories and more cards. Now, I really loved the, the looks of these in the catalog, but you couldn't see all of them. So I really wanted to, I was very excited to get these, but I didn't want to open them up till I shared them with you all. 
to have a look to see. I'm going to open the whole pack because then I actually store my Memories and More cards in our clear cases that you can purchase um, in a four pack, which is a great way to store them. So I'm just going to rip the whole packet open so that then I can show you everything easily, more easily. Now, this is what got me. How cute are these oven mitts and the little utensils? So cute. And then you've got little silver um, scalloped borders, little silver um, cookies and little snowflakes. So there should be two sheets of stickers. They're stickers. So, yep, you get two sheets of those stickers in the Memories and More pack. Then you get, um, oh, there's another oven mitt. You've got some little sentiment labels and these are stickers as well. Your friendship makes the season sweeter. Um, they're all the same. And then you've got Merriest Christmas. Some little um, elements there, cute little elements. So there's two sheets of that one. Then we'll go through all the big Memories and More cards first and then I'll show you the smaller ones. Oops. That's just the cardboard backing um, to protect them. Wishing you a sweet Christmas. So these can be used for card making, but they can also be used for scrapbooking and your pocket memory keeping as well. So keep that in mind when you see these. Oh, there's a few of those. Look at that. There's several of them. wonder if they're all the same on the back. They probably are. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cool. So if you're after a quick and easy Christmas card, you could actually buy the Memories and More cards and just adhere them to the front of your card, whack on a little bit of ribbon and, and a little bit of bling, and you're done. How cool is that? And then we've got these ones here, which are great for um, your journaling, if you're journaling in your um, memory keeping or scrapbooking, or you could cut these out and use them individually as well. So let's see how many of these we've got. We've got six of these ones as well. I think we do. Yep. And let's see what's on the back of those ones. Oh, we've got some green. That would make really nice designer series paper on a card. And then you could add some of the other elements from the pack on there as well, or from the um, some stamped images from the suite. Oh, look at this. Cookie recipe, name, bake time, oven temperature, ingredients and directions. How cute is that? That would be so cute in an album or just in a recipe um, a recipe box, like a recipe index box. Cute on the back too. That would make really cute um, designer series paper on the back there. So again, there are um, six in there. I think I haven't got them quite separated. There are six. Yeah, cool. And then you've got the little ones. Now, you have got these. Julie, you will like these. These are little baking cooling racks. How cute are they? There's two black and two silver. They're white on the other side, so you could always color them. Oh, no, there's not. There's three. There's three of each, so you could even even colour them on the other side if you wanted to colour them with your Stampin' Blends. But yeah, I love the little silver ones. So they look like a little silver. Where's my little grey piece of cardstock? They look like a little cooling rack. How cute are they? They'd be so cute with one of those stamp, some of those stamped cookies on them, or some of the smaller, um, the smaller images. They're super cute. Cute, cute, cute. Yeah. Yeah, when I saw those, I was like, oh my goodness, I've got to have those. They're so adorable. And then we've got all the three by four cards. Oh, we've got some hearts going up there. Awesome. Fee likes them as well. She said cute. So we've got some three by four memory and more cards. So this one says memories in the making. So we've got a few of those. Let's see what's on the other side. Oh, cute. It's like decorations. And we've got a little bauble. So there's a few of those. I think there must be six of each of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, yeah, six of those. Some cool stripes on the other side. So again, if you want to just use these on your cards, 
Um, they'll make a great element just on your cards as well instead of some designer series paper. Your sugar and spice and everything nice. Oh, cute. So let's see what's on the other side of that one. Oh, it looks like it's all oh, those those striped lines in the in my peripheral um, vision. It's um doing my head in. <laughs> I'm gonna move them out of my peripheral vision as I'm moving my um my eyes. I can see the lines in the corner of my eye. So they're cute. They look like looks like icing on gingerbread. This one says made with love. Now also too. If you had a die um, or you put another die, another um, shape on top of that, like an oval or a circle or something, if you didn't like that sentiment, you could put something else on top of that and still have that beautiful outline and the green background. So, yeah, and or you can even cut this whole thing out and then pop that up onto dimensionals, onto your card. Lots and lots of different ideas. Stripes on the back. This one's cute. It's beginning to taste a lot like Christmas. Yes. Because we were just talking about all those yummy things that we like to bake. There's some green plaid on the back. Here's another plaid one, which looks like the um, designer series paper. And on the other side, we've got a Christmas tree with some lines for your journaling. So there you go. So there's the memories and more cards for that sweet. Oops. All right, just gather all of those up. All right, so that is the gingerbread and peppermint suite. Now, as I said, there are a few other items in that suite that I don't have. There's a really beautiful, um, pretty, it's called Pretty Pillow Box. Makes a beautiful little um, pillow gift box. Uh, there's also some memories and more cards and envelopes. And there's also some um, craft six by six um paper as well all right so I'll pop those ones to the side right the next one I'm going to show you is super cute something else we were talking about our pets now we all love our pets or our children's pets so this is a suite for all the pet lovers this is the sweet stockings suite um, if you haven't seen this one before, it's absolutely adorable. Um, and the great thing is, too, if you have a look at the stamp set, um, Kathleen says she loves this set. Yeah. Um, but if you look, I'll just move all the rest over to the side for the moment. But if you look at the stamp set, you can see that you can use the stockings just on their own. You can add the little um, animals to them. You've also got presents there that you can use as standalone stamp sets. And you've got all these cute little elements as well. You've got little hats if you want to put little hats on the little um, animals. We've got a dog and a cat. And what looks like a little um, either a gerbil or a little guinea pig or um, uh, what's the one they have in America? It's not, is it a gerbil? I thought it's called something else, not a gerbil. It's what we call a guinea pig, or it's similar to a guinea pig, but it's a bit different, I think. Anyway, yes, they were super, super cute. And I really love the sentiments as well. They're a lot of fun. So these images are shown at 85% on the cover. So the stamps themselves are a lot bigger. So you'll see when I open up the case, how big the stamped images actually are. And there's the stamps. Hamster, that's the one. Thank you, Tina Marie. Yes. Looks like a little hamster very cute and that's the stamps there so I will um, take all of those off and put them into my kit yes thanks fee yeah Tina beat you to it <laughs> you both bet you're both on the right track hamster yeah so super cute I really like this one okay so let's have a look at the dies that coordinate with that one go let's see oh it has a p in it tina marie oh there you go i didn't even notice that it had been misspelt <laughs> so this is the stocking dies and the stocking dies have in them 
this awesome large label which is a stitched label which is super cute then it's got dies to cut out um, all of the the stamped images here so the presents and the animals um, we've got a bow we've got some holly and some holly berries this is the heel of the um, you can die cut this out to make the heel of the stocking and there's a toe section as well Oh, this one might be the heel and this one might be the toe I'm not sure which ones oh yes this is the toe and this is the heel the big one is the toe you can see by the stamped images so that's really nice you can cut them in different um, colors and put them on the stockings you've got the stockings, so you can use the stockings with the stamps or you can just use the stockings on their own use the stockings with the designer series papers or with other designer series paper even even the designer series paper that I just showed you from the annual catalog you could cut stockings out of some of this as well how cool would they be in some of these papers too so you can use lots use them for lots of different things and we've got an extra little star element there and all of these little ones on the stamp set they all have dies as well which is super awesome because sometimes some of those smaller elements don't have dies i don't think the little um, trio of stars does um, but these three do and all of these ones do you've also got an additional label there as well an arrow label and a little scallop edge a little a little tiny scallop edge which has got stitching on it too so that's a great set of dies i love the um the stockings and they're in three different sizes so gonna have a lot of fun playing with that one that's for sure love that one. Oh, i'll put that away in the case later i won't waste time trying to do that then we've got the designer series paper oh my goodness i love this so much how cute is this paper it's so cute we've got our doggy and we've got our little pussy cat and we've got a cute little mouse there as well let's open it up so this is the sweet stockings 12 by 12 inch designer series paper tina marie said that is so cool she likes that too awesome Oh, I've got a corner that's stuck. Hang on a minute. There we go. All right. I'll take them out of the pack and we can have a look at all of these. Now, I haven't opened these again yet, so I'm looking for the first time with all of you. Oh, so cute. So, so cute. All right, let's have a look. So that is the front side. Let's have a look what's on the back. We've got some, um, looks like cherry cobbler. Let's see. Am I right? We've got basic black bumblebee cherry cobbler. Yep. Cinnamon Cider, Evening Evergreen, Old Olive and Pool Party. Really cute. And then we've got these little tiny ones, which is super cute. Oh, there's the little hamster. And <laughs> we've got a couple of different cats and a couple of different puppies in there too. This poor pussycat here doesn't look too happy. Let me move that over. <laughs> he doesn't look too happy to be stuffed in the stocking. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> got a little mouse there as well. Oh, they're really cute. Let's have a look what's on the other side. Hang on a sec. Let me do it this way. Oh, wow. Look at that. I love that. That's so colourful, isn't it, for Christmas? And so beautiful as well. We'll go this way. So, oh, poor kitty. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen this one. This one's really cute. Look at the little, oh, again, we got the cranky cat. Look, we got the cranky cat with the little reindeer ears. Not impressed, that poor kitty. <laughs> and we've even got a budgie. Oh, look, the little budgie's holding the letter. How cute is that? And the little puppy dog, instead of having a, um, a cone on its neck, it's got a wreath on the neck, around its neck. How cute. <gasps> so cute. What have we got on the other side? Oh, nice. That's nice Christmas paper. Looks like it's been stitched. Beautiful stockings. Now I bet, I bet those stocking dies cut out these stockings. Let's have a look. Let's see. Yep, they do. So you can cut out, you can either use, use the paper as it is or 
No, eat that one. You can cut out the um, stockings and use them individually from the Designer Series paper. I love it when Stampin' Up! does that. So clever. See? So you've got the different sizes of stockings on there that you can die cut. So cute. Yeah. <laughs> Tina said, grumpy cat. Yeah. And she loves the budgie. <laughs> yeah. I love the budgie too. Really cute. I used to breed budgies actually. Some of you may not know that. When I was younger, in my younger years, I used to um, actually bred quite a few different birds. I bred budgies predominantly, and then I also bred um, peach-faced lovebirds and finches. And now I can't work out how to get this stocking back on the sheet. There we go. Yeah, so I bred a few different... I think I had um, Java finches as well. But the little finches, the... Um, I can't remember what type of... Oh, the zebra finches... They are very, very sensitive little birds. I didn't have very much success with them. Um, they kept dying all the time. I think they're very prone to the hot and the cold. Oh, your mum bred birds too, Tina Marie. Oh, awesome. So this one's really nice. And then we've got this one too. Oh, this one brings in the goldfish. So there we go. We've got goldfish. Now, none of you mentioned goldfish, but I know that some of you do have fish. Um, so that's really cute. And we've got a little doggy there with a little Santa Claus um, beard on and a um, Christmas jumper. So that's really cute. And the kitten or the little cat's playing with the baubles. Really cute. Uh, your mum just bred budgies, did she? Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, I had some beautiful budgies, really beautiful colours. So we've got this one. We've got, the, I love the Christmas lights. How cute. Corgis. Yes, little corgis. They are little corgis. You're right. That's <laughs> very cute. And then on the other side, we've got this beautiful um, pool party design. So there you go. So that is the designer series paper for that suite. Now we've got some beautiful ribbon that coordinates with that, which I haven't opened yet. So let me just take the, the wrapper off that one so we can see that. This is pool party striped... Um, grow grain ribbon whoops got an extra bit of plastic there just get rid of that so that's really nice that coordinates beautifully with the sweet and we've got these matte decorative dots so these are in now let me see if it tells me in the catalog yes so bumblebee cherry cobbler evening evergreen and old olive and you've sort of got like an ombre Try and get them closer to the camera and away from the lights a little bit so that it's not reflecting as much. You've got like an ombre gradient in the colours as well as having the different sizes. I'll go back down that way a little bit. So isn't that cool? So you've got, um, and they're quite a high little dimensional, uh, not dimensional, element, like a little dot. They're quite um, dimensionalised themselves. Yeah. So I really like that. And look at these tiny, tiny little ones. They're super tiny. They're tinier than um, our pearls or our other embellishments that we have. So really like those. Oh, Tina Marie said that is very cool. Hi, Robin. How are you going? Oh, Tina Marie said her first pet was a corgi. Oh, nice. And Fiona said, oh, they're, they're cute too. Yes, they are. Yeah. That's okay, Robin. You can always watch the replay. We had a lot of fun at the beginning talking about baking and what we like to make, Robin, which led into, and about our pets too. So you'll be able to share when you watch the replay about your pets as well. <laughs> so that's that. And then as part of this suite as well, we have the Jolly Felt. Now I'm excited to play with these with those stockings. So excuse the crinkling noise for a moment while I open this packet. Oh, there we go. So last time we had felt, actual felt sheets. I didn't buy it and I kicked myself afterwards for not buying it. And this time I thought, you know what, I'm going to buy the felt. And when I saw the stockings, I thought, oh, perfect, felt stockings. How cute are these? So we've got, let's see if we've got the colours on here. Yep, bumblebee, cherry cobbler, old olive and white. Won't they be beautiful with the, um, even the presents. You could do the, you could die cut the presents out of these. So the dies apparently do die cut the felt. So you can um, use your dies with that. So that would be awesome because you could have, say you could have a green um, 
stocking and then you could do the toe in the red and you could do the heel in the yellow or something like that. That would be really fun. I can't wait to play with it. I'm super excited. So there you go. Even the, um, even the candy canes would look cool in the felt, I think, too. And the little presents. Yeah, so fun. And the little animals would look cute popping their heads out from behind the um, felt stocking too, wouldn't they? I think so. So that's the whole suite of the sweet stocking suite. Um, that's everything in this suite. I got the whole suite of that one because I just loved it so much. <laughs> so there you go. So that's that one. That's I think that's got to be my favourite actually. Well, this one and the um, gingerbread one. I love that too. All right, a couple more things. Now, these items here are from a whole suite, but I didn't get the whole suite yet. I'm just getting bits and pieces of it. So I got the designer series paper. This is from the Harvest Meadow suite. So this isn't Christmas, but it's in the um, mini catalog that's coming out. Um, Tina Marie said, that is very cool. Robin said, we had a corgi when she was in high school. Ah, oh, Camden Princess was her name. Wow. Very special. Nice. And Tina Marie said, Christmas hats for the animals. Oh, in the felt. Yes, perfect. Thank you. What a great idea. <laughs> That's an awesome idea. All right. So this is the Harvest Meadow. This one has a stamp set and dies, which I don't have. The embossing folder I wanted to get because I loved it. It has a ribbon, which I have. It has um, brushed metallic adhesive back dots, which I don't have yet. Uh, it also has cork 12 by 12 specialty paper, which I have seen on somebody else's video, and it looks awesome. And then the beautiful designer series paper, which I couldn't go past. It was so gorgeous. So let's have a little quick look. Let's open up the ribbon first. I am, or most of you probably know by now, I am a sucker for ribbon and bling. Any ribbon and bling, I've got to have it. Just love, love, love it. And especially if it's anything that is vintage related. Look at this. How gorgeous is that lace ribbon? So this is called, what is this called? This is called Diamond Weave Ribbon. And it's three-eighths of an inch. So beautiful. It's sort of in like a, like a vanilla color. Um, really beautiful. I love it. So pretty. Um, the Time Worn Type 3D Embossing Folder. <laughs> Tina Marie said she likes she likes this blue one. Yep, it's another blue one. So this one has, now I'm not sure how the camera will pick this up, but it's, let's see if I can open it first. Whoop. It's new, so it's a bit stiff. There we go. So it's got like um, old text type that is sort of... Um, distressed and then it's got this other distressed look to it which yeah it says time worn type which is exactly what it looks like so you can make out a few typed letters and words here and there and then you've got like this distressed look you know what it reminds me of it reminds me of like the um the hidden scrolls or something like that like some really old although it wouldn't have been in english but do you know what i mean like really old world um writings or something that had been discovered rediscovered or something like I can I can think up a whole story in my head around this die around this embossing folder <laughs> so yeah I love that really beautiful um oh could it be colored with markers yes Robin the ribbon can be yes um it can be colored with the uh Stampin' Blends would color it best you could probably do it with the Stampin' Right markers too I'm not sure how the colour would look, but you could test it. Um, but certainly the, the Stampin' Bleds would be beautiful on that. And I have seen this coloured. Actually, I think if you look in the catalogue um, on page 54, if you have the mini catalogue, there is a piece of this ribbon that has been coloured in, I think it's like Cajun Craze, and it looks amazing. Yeah, so you can definitely colour it really pretty all right let's have a look at this paper let's open this up i can't wait to see this it's so beautiful 
All right, so Harvest Meadow 12 by 12. Wait, let's check the colours first. We've got Bumblebee, Cajun Craze, Crumb Cake, Misty Moonlight, and Soft Succulent. I'll just pull them all out. We are nearly to the end of all of my product shares today. All right, so that one is so gorgeous. Let's have a look what's on the other side. Isn't that pretty? Oh, nice bumblebee. That one's beautiful. That looks like um, crumb cake. And on the other side of the crumb cake, we have, is that Calypso? Did it say Calypso? It said Cajun Craze crumb cake. That one looks like Calypso coral to me. But it didn't mention Calypso coral in the list of colours. Oh, hang on, here we go. Yes, we have, sorry. It's Calypso Coral. Oh, interesting. The Calypso Coral, it's in the catalogue as Calypso Coral, but the Calypso Coral isn't actually listed on the paper pack. Oh, there you go. It says Bumblebee, Cajun Craze, Crumb Cake, Misty Moonlight, Soft Succulent. I think they missed the Calypso Coral on here. Oh, well, there you go. So there you go, it has, it definitely has Calypso Coral. And then we've got some beautiful soft succulent with some text on there. I love that one, that's gorgeous. Some more beautiful bumblebee design. Some gorgeous wheat in crumb cake, more bumblebee. That one's got a little bit of the um, Calypso Coral through it as well. Some more Misty Moonlight. more calypso let me move these over a little bit we're losing the the blue off the camera this one's pretty with the trees isn't that gorgeous so beautiful and then on the other side of that oh we've got like a mosaic look nice aren't they beautiful so let me move them across so you can see all of them on camera together because they're um Oh, I'm getting lots of hearts going up. People are liking this one. Awesome. <laughs> Tina said, lol, you did it again. Tina's always impressed when I know all the colours. <laughs> oh, it's lots of practice, Tina Marie. I use the colours a lot all the time, so you kind of get used to it. Hey, Renee, how are you going? So there you go. So that is all of the... Um, the papers in the Harvest Meadow 12 by 12 designer series paper pack. Aren't they just beautiful? I can't wait to play with these ones. So gorgeous. And let me just show you that beautiful ribbon with those. Isn't that going to be just gorgeous? And these papers will also, not only do they coordinate with the stamp set in the suite, which I don't have yet. Oh, that's good, Renee. Great to hear that you're doing well. Fantastic. Um, not only will they coordinate with the um, products in the Harvest Meadow suite, but they'll also coordinate with some of our other stamp sets that we have as well. Um, like I had a few out um, earlier that I was going to play with with them, and I thought they would go beautifully with some of the ones that we already have too. So, yeah, they'll be great. Can't wait to play with them as well. So can you see that the, the things that I've already purchased in the... Um, the demonstrator pre-order are the things that I love the most so that's kind of how I choose what to order first is I choose the things that I really love first and um, and then I get some of the other the other products afterwards all right so I've got um, another ribbon to show you this one I is from a different suite which I didn't get the other the rest of the suite I just got the ribbon at the moment because I love ribbon and I loved this ribbon so this is supposed supposed to be blushing bride and it's a frayed um, grow grain ribbon it's similar to the frayed ribbon that we had in the we had the the blue the night of navy frayed ribbon in the boho indigo medley it's similar to that I think it might be a little bit narrower but um, it says Blushing Bride, but to me it looks a little bit 
similar to it looks like mm, it looks a little bit a little bit closer to flirty flamingo but not quite as bright as flirty flamingo and a little bit even like um petal pink i don't know i'll have to oh actually you know what i'll get the cardstock how about if i get the cardstock out and we'll match it to the the pinks in the cardstock and we'll see which one it's closest to Okay, so there's one. No, it's a bit more pink. Oh. So this one, so this is the petal pink, right? This is the blushing bride. So I guess it is a little bit closer to that. Let me get the flirty flamingo. I think the flirty flamingo is much brighter. Yeah, the Flirty Flamingo's got more of an orangey tone. Yeah, so it's definitely not Flirty Flamingo. But if I show you the three pinks there side by side, so we've got Petal Pink, Blushing Bride, and Flirty Flamingo, and there's the ribbon. Hang on a sec. I'll open them up like that so you can see. And there's the ribbon. So it's kind of... It kind of would go with any of them, actually. I think you could really use that ribbon with any of those pinks because it's supposed to be Blushing Bride, but it is a little bit different to the Blushing Bride cardstock. But yeah, I think you'd get away with using that with any of the pinks, which is great. So versatile. I love a ribbon that you can use with lots of different colours. So that's pretty cool. Hey. Um, <laughs> Tina Marie said she'd believe me above the catalogue. <laughs> In terms of colours, is do you mean Tina Marie? <laughs> yeah so I like that and I like it's it is a little bit different but I think it's beautiful I really like the color what do you think do you think you could get away with using that on any of those pinks I think you could and you can see the difference in the tones there in the pinks like the flirty flamingo is a very orangey color the blushing bride looks more like a, a gray under over uh, undertone like a grayish um yeah grayish sort of undertone and then the petal pink has got more of an apricotty sort of undertone to it. Yeah, Tina Marie said yes. <laughs> there you go. So, great to look at that. Now, I've got just a couple more things to show you. So, they're all the products that I got on my pre-order in the mini catalogue. And then I earned some of the free celebration items from... The celebration brochure now again I can't show you the inside yet until it goes live on the 3rd of August but I can show you the products so these are I got three free celebration items so this is one of the designer series papers that you can earn um, during celebration with a $90 purchase or a $90 order this is the very cute Penguin Playmates 12 by 12 designer series paper. And this coordinates with one of the suites out of the mini catalog. So this will give you a little bit of a sneak peek of one of the suites because I don't have the suite that coordinates with this one at this stage. Um, but this is the free paper that you can earn to go with it. So how cute is this? Super cute. These little penguins and polar bears and even the foxes are just so adorable. So I'll put them, I'll put that over there like that. And we've got some beautiful trees. Oh, I love this color. Wait, let's have a look at the colors. What have we got? We've got basic black, balmy blue, calypso coral, fresh freesia, just jade, misty moonlight, and soft sea foam. Yeah, I thought that was one of the softer greens. This little penguin, super cute. How cute is he? And there is going to be a um, penguin punch that will actually punch out these um, penguins as well as the coordinating stamp set, which I don't yet have. So we'll do it like that so you can see them. On the other side, oh, that's nice, just jade. Then we've got these cute little guys in their beanies and their scarves. How adorable are they? So cute. 
Then we've got some striped Misty Moonlight. <laughs> Look at this little guy. He looks like he's doing um, snow angels. Is it snow angels? You know when you lay on the, the snow and you put your arms and legs out and you move your arms and legs and you make a snow angel? Super cute. Or either that or he's doing star jumps. <laughs> Really cute. I even love the little fox. The little fox would be awesome for baby's cards or children's cards too, even just on his own. How cute would he be? Oops, hang on, I'm losing my, losing my, um, there we go. Yeah. Um, oh, Tina Marie says, uh, Tina Marie says, Amanda, penguins. <laughs> We have a little running joke in our team um, about penguins. <laughs> so <laughs> that's what Tina Marie's referring to. Um, and Jenny says she loves the paper penguins. Oh, yeah, it's really cute, isn't it? Look at this pretty paper. That's really pretty. I love that because, you know, it's got the purple in it. And I love anything purple. It's um, fresh freesia, I'm pretty sure. Or is that Highland Heather? It looks fresh freesia. What did it say on there? Fresh freesia. Yeah, it did. Second guessed myself then. And this one too, this reminds me of the, the snow trips we used to make with, um, we, when we used to take the kids to the snow. And um, we didn't have sleds like this, but we had toboggans and it's so cute. Um, Tina Marie said if she had this paper, she would be fussy cutting her brains out. Yes, I think so too, Tina Marie. That would make a great little scene on a card, wouldn't they? I can see these, these ones on like a snowy mountain, like coming down a little snowy mountain with white cardstock slopes. Yeah, I think we might be doing a bit of that to ourselves. That's going to be super fun. Um, on the reverse side of that, oh, pretty. Look at that. It's my colour, fresh freesia. So pretty. I love purple and pink. Then we've got this little one. And they're, it looks like they're putting together the snowman. Oh, we've even got a little bunny in there. And the little bird bringing the, can you see the little bird there? Bringing in the, the beanie for the snowman. And the penguin and the polar bear putting his arms on. Cute. And the little fox is sitting there looking unimpressed. <laughs> or watching on. Really cute. And on the other side of that one, we've got some spots. Nice. What do you all think of that paper? The white felt works well for snow. Yes, Megan. Good idea. Definitely got to do that. What a great idea. Yes. This paper is going to be fun. I know that we don't have snow at Christmas here in Australia, but I still really want to play with these papers because they're super cute. <laughs> even so and even the little penguins like this little one here this paper here you don't even have to if you cut out those if you fussy cut those little animals out individually they don't even have to be for Christmas you can just use them as little animal cards children's cards like lots of things so cute even these little ones with their little scarves yeah I love that really cute and the patterns on the other side, really versatile. You can use them for lots of different, um, lots of different projects. All right, this is another one of the papers that I got from Celebration for free. Um, you can get this with a $90 purchase during Celebration from the 3rd of August to the 30th of September. And this one is, let me tell you what it's called. I better tell you what it's called. Peaceful Prints designer series paper we've got basic black cherry cobbler garden green real red and sahara sand so let's take these ones out and then after this i've just got one more item to show you all right so we've got some beautiful deer in there which with the plaid on them really nice let's see what's on the reverse side of that one Oh, some nice plaid. Very nice. Oh, that would even work well for masculine cards too, don't you think? They're really nice. Oh, this one's like trees in the background in Sahara sand. That's really nice. 
and on the other side of that we've got some more traditional looking um christmas stripes with the is it real red i think it's real red and sahara sand oh no it's cherry cobbler oh no it could be it's real red it's red real red and cherry cobbler are both in this suite and the cherry cobbler is deeper there you go and we've got some plaid with some snowflakes and some more plaid there with some very light plaid in the background of that one which is nice some traditional christmas trees that actually i really like that paper that's nice i like the color and i like the plaid in the trees too in the background it's pretty cool and on the other side we've got some green dots or spots some snowflakes and some i don't know what you'd call those ones a little bit like chevron similar to a chevron but it's not actually a i don't it's not actually a chevron but it looks similar to a chevron this one's really beautiful sahara sand with the reindeer that's really lovely and it's got little tiny christmas trees on it as well and then on the other one on the other side of that oh i like that one the plaid there on that one really nice beautiful okay now the last product i have to show you the last very last product pine needles yes that's what they look like tina marie you're right pine needles um megan says i love winter wonderland cards yes i do too actually even though we're here in australia and we don't get winter at snow um i said that backwards <laughs> snow at winter i love a winter when a win one uh, bleh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> i think i'm getting tired my tongue is getting all tied up a winter wonderland scene as well yes <laughs> oh all right so this beautiful stamp set the delicate dahlias um this is also a free item <laughs> Um, during celebration now this is a level two item for if you you can choose this one if you spend um, $180 or if you order um, perhaps you and some friends would like to put in orders together and if it goes over $180 um, you can choose this one as um, your gift now this one is not as your gift sorry is as your celebration item um, this one is a two-step um, stamp and also it is a distinctive stamp so you've got distinctive stamps in here as well as line art stamps so you've got the best of both worlds with this stamp set which is awesome and you've got some beautiful sentiments in there too um, the artwork on the front is shown at 90% so if I show you the actual stamp set again it's a photopolymer um, stamp so you can put your stamps in here where they belong on the sheets but you can actually see that they are quite a bit bigger than the image on the front if I put that over you can see they're quite a bit bigger than the actual image on the cover that's just so they can fit all of the artwork on the cover so there you go so that is the end of my show and tell and we have been going for two hours can you believe that two hours of show and tell so Megan I'm sorry I won't be creating anything tonight <laughs> because it's already after six o'clock <laughs> oh, but I will be creating with these new products in the coming weeks so watch out for those um, we'll have lots of fun lots of fun things to play with coming up very soon so all right so let me of all of those things i've shown you today does anything jump out stand out to you anything that you're going to add to your wish list um a great show and tell thanks megan um let me pop the camera up to my face so that i can um finish chatting to you and then um bid you farewell face to face so just give me a moment and then i'll continue um saying what i was saying just a moment i'll just cover this up Oh, you made a card in that time fee. Awesome. Good job. All right, I'm just readjusting my stand so that my camera doesn't fall down. And we'll fix the lights. There we go. Okay. There we go. Ah, yay. 
So yes, for, so from all of those um, products that I just showed you, uh, are there any standouts to you? Anything that you, um, or perhaps something that you hadn't seen or hadn't noticed before in the catalogue and now that you've seen it have gone, oh my goodness, now I love it. <laughs> Let me know if you do. So if you are, happen to be watching this after, uh, on the replay after the 3rd of August, you can get these uh, in the mini catalogue. The mini catalogue um, and the celebration as well will also be uh, 3rd of August. So the mini catalogue will be available from the 3rd of August 2021 until the 3rd of January 2022. That sounds so weird to say that. Yeah, 3rd of January 2022. Oh my goodness, that just doesn't sound right, does it? <laughs> Where's time going? Um, so yeah, so all of those products will be available in here in, from this catalogue. Now, um, and also to the celebration items are available from the 3rd of August until the 30th of September. Okay. Um, you can purchase all of these products in my online store and you can get there two different ways. You can either go to my blog and click on the shop button on my blog or you can go to Mandy's Papercraft Creations.stampinup.net, which is direct to my website. And then again, just ship up, uh, click on, not ship, click, oh my words, I'm so tired. <laughs> click on shop um, and you'll be able to go through to my online store. Remember to always look for my latest host code. You'll find that um, on my blog. My current one for July 2021 is this one here. Be sure to use that if you're shopping with me. And if your order is over $50, I'll also send you a thank you gift. Um, but all orders with me get a lovely thank you card as well. So let me see. Um, uh, you're welcome, Megan. You're welcome. I'm glad you enjoyed that show and tell time. Fee made a card in the process of my show and tell, so well done, Fee. That's great. I love that um, that you can craft along um, with me in the background, so that's awesome. Judy said she just got home from the doctors and watched the replay. Oh, yes, you definitely need to catch the replay, Judy. So much cool stuff today. You have to check it out, so that's awesome. Um, oh, Renee said December. Did I say something wrong? This is the July to... Oh, it says, okay, so it says July to December mini catalog, but the actual sales period, it's a little bit confusing this time because of COVID and the dates got changed. Um, it is called the July to December mini catalog, but the actual sales period is from the fourth, uh, sorry, the 3rd of August through to the 3rd of January. So 3rd of August 2021 to the 3rd of January 2022. So yes, so don't let the name throw you off. Just think of it as the mini catalogue or the holiday catalogue. We used to call it the holiday catalogue. Some of us still do. Some of, some demonstrators still call it the holiday catalogue. Um, it's been called that for so long, it's a bit hard to change our ways sometimes, isn't it? <laughs> uh, okay, so um, Megan is on the fence about the dog and cat set. Okay, so feel free to go back and watch that portion if you want to again, Megan, although you've seen it once now, so you probably don't need to see it again. But they are really, really cute. And when you see them in person, they're even more so. <laughs> um, Fee likes the dog one. Yep, the animals, the animal set. Yep, it's super cute. Um, that is the, let me remember what it's called. I keep, I've got to get all these new names in my head now. Sweet Stocking Sweet, that's what it's called. Yeah. Yes. So, um... Those catalogues are coming in the mail to you. Yes, Judy, I have already ordered them for you. They'll be coming to you direct from Stampin' Up as one of my current customers. Um, they should be arriving anytime soon, so just let me know when you receive it. Um, they're being sent direct from Stampin' Up. So, yeah, they should be there very soon, I hope. They should, yes. <laughs> um, we've not long received ours as demonstrators, so, um, yeah. All right, um, great. Oh, I'm glad you all really enjoyed that. That's great. Thank you so much. It's always good to do an unboxing and check out new product, isn't it? And see all the new things and so much. Oh, you're welcome, Judy. So much better seeing them um, in real life, although it's through the camera, but you know what I mean? Like in real life rather than in the catalog. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to see from those tiny little pictures in the catalog. It's nice to see them up close and personal. 
so thank you all so much for being with me today it's been a lot of fun um, I didn't think it was going to take that long. Amber warned me. She said, Mum, it's going to take you a couple of hours to show all this stuff. And I'm like, no, there's hardly any stuff for me to show. She's like, Mum, it'll take you a couple of hours. And it did. <laughs> but we did chat for a while first, didn't we? We were talking about um, baking and we were talking about our pets. And um, yeah, so that was a lot of fun. So thank you so much for all sharing with me today too and sharing with all of us. That was a lot of fun. I love having those chats with you all. So I will let you all go. I'm sure it's probably right on dinner time for a lot of you. Um, so I will let you go. And um, oh, thanks so much, Megan. Stay safe. Yes. Oh, yes, I hope so. Stay safe, everybody. Thank you, Megan. Um, yes, I pray that we all stay safe. I pray that you all stay safe as well. Um, things are a little bit scary right now in Sydney. So just trying to do what we can to keep ourselves safe. Um, and I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying put. <laughs> Thankfully, I'm able to work from home. So all good. Um, but yeah, take care, everybody. Stay safe. Um, look after your, yourselves and your loved ones. And um, I look forward to seeing you all again next Monday at four o'clock. Um, and yes, we will see what we'll be doing next week. I've got a few ideas in my mind. I'll just decide on which, which idea we'll do first. I've got lots of plans for lots of weeks coming. So stay tuned and look out for my events as well. All right, everyone, have a great evening. Until next time, happy crafting. Bye.